I'm here today with... Justin DeClue. And Colin Cunningham. You know, it's a pity you're my sister. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, the incest jokes are starting early today. (laughs) All right, so this is our bad movie lottery pick um, for uh, right now. Um, (laughs) For those of you who don't know, if you're a Patreon member at the $2 level or up, uh, you get submitted into the bad movie lottery. For people who still don't understand how it works... You don't have to do anything. Just be a subscriber, and if you are picked, I will contact you and get your movie reco. So this time the winner was William Maudsley, who has been a very generous patron of ours for three years now. Oh, Um, thank you. So thank you for your continued support. They recommended White Fire from 1984 and and had this to say. Uh, The film that nearly ended a friendship when I played it at a bad movie night. (laughs) (laughs) I hope it wasn't with your sister. (laughs) Yeah. Oh. So this is a movie that I was aware of because years ago it was covered on uh, Best of the Worst on YouTube. And they kind of build it as the incest movie. Yeah. I wanted to give it a chance because (laughs) I knew that there was, Uh. there had to be more, right? Yeah, yeah, there's more. And there uh, is. There's, there's more. It's not just Fred that. Williamson is there. He's not doing any incest. Uh, no. It's true. Which is, yeah. I mean, technically, Bo... Do, I, well, oh, we'll God, go, we'll, we'll, get we'll, get we'll get to it. We'll get into it. <laughs> oh, oh, this movie. It's the type of movie you want to like have a shower after. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah but, it chased it down with some Black Devil doll. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a uh, 80s B movie oh, that is... Uh, it's a, a European American it, co-production. Get this. It's a French French Turkish. French American Turkish Italian production. Yeah. yeah, because they shot in Turkey, which yeah. is why the sets look like they're fighting where Turkish Star Wars was filmed. Yeah, it's just got rock quarry. I think it's mm-hmm. probably uh I just imagine all of Turkey just to be one big quarry. And it was directed by Jean-Marie Pallardy, which even yeah. though his name is Jean-Marie, he, he's a man, and he mostly just did erotic films, French erotic films. You can say pornos. I, I, yeah, I, it was titles I, like Naked and Lustful, <laughs> Porno West, <laughs> Emmanuel can totally, Akan. Oh, no. I can totally tell. Erotic Diary of a Lumberjack. Oh, no, that was the one, yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. There's one called Erotic Sex Orgasm, or... <laughs> Dossier Erotique de Natire, which is very different than the other title. So, you know, obviously he's the right choice to do this sort of, uh, you know, uh, action action movie, action, A- action romance. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> action romance. It, 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 it is. There's a romance angle to it. Yeah, it explains a lot. Let's just say that. It stars Robert Ginty. Okay, from, do you guys know uh, Robert Ginty? Uh, yes. From The Exterminator. I had only seen, actually, Exterminator 2. So okay. I know people who I really respect their taste, that are huge Robert Ginty fans. I don't see how. I, I don't, like, <laughs> do they love blocks of wood running around on screen? He has. Hey, like, guys, it's me, not, Robert Ginty. How's it going? He's not charismatic. He is not charismatic. Oh, sh- uh, he has a very weird kind of boy face. face. I was head hey, don't huge. you mean a man's face? He has a thick, luscious mustache in this, right? Oh, my God, and does he ever. his hair is... <laughs> I don't even but know. But he still looks like, like a like a 13-year-old with a mustache. Yes, or he does. He has a baby face. Yeah. And we saw pictures of him as an older, middle-aged man, and he looks more normal. He looks so much better. He seems to be aging well, yeah. although I haven't seen him in anything. I think he's dead. Oh, no. I want to say he's dead. I don't know. Yep. I think he unfortunately passed away September 21st, 2009. His last role oh was in a UCB comedy original. Oh, my wow. God. Wow. So he, did, he could do comedy. I think he was in... Um, Ah, uh, the paper chase. I don't know if it was the movie version or the TV show. That was real big. That's like way past our generation, but yeah. people loved the paper chase back rem- in the yeah. day. I remember watching the series because my parents loved the movie, so then we watched uh, watched the TV series. I think he I was in it. it. I, I, I can't remember. Uh, I don't it's remember. the trials of a group of law students under the tutelage of a strict professor. Yeah, it was like they hmm. kind of spoofed it on Mr. Show. It was like, look to your left. <laughs> Look to your right. It's like one of those people <laughs> won't graduate. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, That's where that's from. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Michael McKeon. Anyway. Um, so, it's White yeah. Fire. Incest. White fire. Let's get right back into it. <laughs> Man. This yeah. movie, it's like a, there's some fun action stuff in it for sure. Um, and like whenever I am trying to be like, well, it's not 
technically incest. It just it goes so <laughs> far where it, it's just it impossible. wants to like kind of drill down. It's impossible. No, we want to make to you defend. think of incest. Yeah, it's yeah. impossible to to not. It, see it, it starts it with a bang with a slow motion sequence where the director himself is lit on fire. That's he him. Plays, yeah, the father of the two kids. Oh my! That God. is the craziest fucking stunt. Like I, yeah. I gasped when I saw this because. He yeah. gets flamethrowed and he's completely engulfed in flames. And then you see him running out of a fireball, just like like rubbing his face like, ah, ah, ah. So we're like, did he burn? I don't know. He doesn't seem to have any protective gel on his Hang face. Hang on. They didn't use a stunt man? No, it's him. I don't him. think they did. I think it's him. Yeah, you see his face. You see his face and the fucking car explodes before yeah. he even gets out of it. And like the fireball engulfs his whole face. Unless he just got like a death row prisoner or something like that and <laughs> lit him on fire. I, I could be mistaken. Just pay oh, him like, yeah, scandal. that flame gag is wild. It's yeah. insane. Because you see him like he's in the, the flame as it like bursts. Yeah. It's, did they um, just shoot him with a real flamethrower? Yes. It looks like it. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah, it's mad. And this this whole scene, it's just basically, I don't know where this takes place, when, uh, I don't know, the 60s. I don't know who, I don't know who these soldiers is. are. We're not given any historical context. So it's basically Robert Ginty and his sister as kids uh, escaping these soldiers with their parents. Uh, all set to like this really psychedelic uh, theme. Or yeah, music. Uh, this is my favorite thing. The the song White Fire White Fire <laughs> Oh we white don't even, we don't fire, get to that white yet fire. Well I'm gonna say I'm not my favorite thing whatever you you can have that Justin but overall the music in this is good There's like three songs they, that repeat they, over they, and they over, play over, over yeah, and over They need more I think more. there's two because in the credits they only list two of them there's, No there's, there's a, like five songs There's White Fire There's mm -hmm. the Where Do We Go from Yeah here? I know that one And Fred Williamson has a little theme yeah, too Yeah it's like dun, 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 Yeah Okay but that's dun, 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 that's not a song I mean with lyrics and like just music uh, lyrics, yeah, I think there's two I think songs. there's just two. Yeah. And you will hear them over and over and over. Yeah, over, you know over what? every montage. And <laughs> buckle up, there's a lot of them. It wasn't bugging me that Yeah, much. so uh, the dad gets killed. He plays the old, like, uh, uh, bent branch trick and, like, swats one of the <laughs> yeah. soldiers somehow. Ingenious. He's killed, the mom is killed on the beach, uh, and then the kids are rescued by this American uh, kind of sailor guy. I know we always bring this up, but he reminded me of George Kennedy. <laughs> he like, does look like George Kennedy. Yeah. I, I wrote that in my notes as well. Oh, uh, I also need to say that you know this is a classy picture because it says written, adapted, and directed by, and then there's the director's <laughs> signature on screen. Yeah, it's I've not. I've never his, seen that. I've before. never seen that. That is someone who's very, very uh, proud. I love it. <laughs> love it. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, uh, fuck. What's his nuts? Uh, uh, the actor, God, he played Robert J Ginty? No, he played J. Jonah Jameson in the Raimi Spider-Man. Oh, uh, now that you got confused with it, I am also like, uh, <laughs> know you know, Mr. Whiplash. Whiplash. I know who you're talking about. I just can't <laughs> Jesus remember Christ. his name. Colin oh. infected us. Oh, We're no. all like, oh, J.K. Simmons. J.K. <laughs> Simmons, yeah. So the, the American guy that saves the kids looks like J.K. Simmons mixed with George Kennedy. He's got George Kennedy's girth. Yeah, sure. <laughs> girth. I'm going to need to use that word more often. I feel like every <laughs> movie we talk about on this podcast has a George yeah. Kennedy. April eye. has like Ken <laughs> Kennedy Isis, where she's like, I see George Kennedy everywhere. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just love George Kennedy. What could I say? <laughs> I just can't get. He wrote an autobiography, you know? Oh, uh, maybe I should read it. Did you know that he wrote a series of mystery novels? Yes. yes. We yes. talked about this on a previous <laughs> episode this. where he solves mystery as himself as himself on film sets i mean that's fantastic it's amazing um anyway so then we uh we flash forward to istanbul or istanbul istanbul 20 years later it's uh, spelled incorrectly uh and then we get the white fire song white fire white fire, white white fire. fire. That talking plays. about the white fire <laughs> the white fire that's basically the lyrics yeah <laughs> uh, it's like an 80s new wave song i like it yeah um I, again you'll be hearing this song this song plays over the entire like opening well sequence. the movie starts and it's still playing quietly in the background yeah like, we see <laughs> yeah uh, it's like the muzak as they're going through the <laughs> yeah. futuristic uh facility okay yeah, so our sis our sister we're character yeah we're introduced to what's her name ingrid ingrid she's uh getting into this diamond mine but like the administration part of it but it looks like a sci-fi movie it looks like the set and costumes from like dr no 
or like mm. the, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's more like the Doctor Who variant yeah. of it. Like if you look at the floor, it's like uh, a swift breathe will like lift up the metallic things that are taped down <laughs> yeah. to the ground, and like all the guards look like they're wearing kind of like judo pads well, or karate. Wearing yeah, jumpsuits. with like the uh, Star Wars helmets on as yeah. well. It, with like weightlifting belts. Yeah, <laughs> it just looks like. It just looks like a reused That's to set. train them. You know, you watch so much anime, you you know, you put weights on your belt, <laughs> that's how you get strong. Yeah, yeah. but it looks like, so and then the kind of diamonds. administration are wearing these like red jumpsuits that look like they're from the TV series V. <laughs> yes, and I mean she has to go through this very futuristic looking facial scan thing, which will come in it's like later. A full, it's like a full body scan. Yeah, just to see. I guess they scan people going into and out of the mine to make sure they're not stealing any diamonds. Well, I think also just to verify their identity because yeah. everyone other than our main characters in this movie looks the same. Yeah, um, so maybe that's why the guys with mustaches. But everyone they, has a mustache. As she's going in, one of these guys is being caught with uh, diamonds, so he's dragged into another room, and I think. Uh, they electrocute his balls. They torture him. So that lets you know kind of... They're not messing around. Exactly. Yeah. This has to be a reused set from like a Turkish sci-fi film or something. It doesn't Maybe. match this movie. Come on. They would never like design and build this for this Hey, movie. this was a big budget production. They came in with all of their French crews that make pornos. <laughs> and we're like, <laughs> we're the big money. We also uh, meet Robert uh, Ginty. His sister calls him. Robert Ginty has, you know, a teen stash. Like, it doesn't yeah. connect in the middle. <laughs> yeah. It's and like, it's like, someone needs to tell him, like, you can't pull it off. I'm sorry. You can feel like he's trying to grow the hairs too long, so they're going to his mouth. I've been there, Robert. Just just give it up. Give it up. <laughs> yeah, it's like too long. Yeah, he's got mm. like a, a denim costume. He's, he's got like Jay Leno outfit it's on in this movie. <laughs> it was the style. Hey, how's it going? I can't do a Jay Leno. Colin, yeah, what's your Jay Leno? Hey, what are you, what are you saying there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will Robbie. say there's a lot of jumpsuits in this movie uh, on the, the women characters yeah. and they look great. Apparently in 84, jumpsuits were in and now they're back. You're pro jumpsuit, April? Do you own any jumpsuits? No, because I can't get any that fit me properly. Jumpsuits are... They're, <laughs> April they're back. weighs 500 no. pounds. It's a, I have a long torso, so I can't... They ha so does they, it like don't connect fit. like too high or too low? They 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 just don't... That they, hmm. they, they, they don't fit someone of my body type. But someday I will find one. Ladies and gentlemen, please send all your jumpsuits at uh, one two three <laughs> yeah. Fake Avenue. So April can check it out. But she's wearing a really cool one. It's like it's very stylish. She's got like high heels with like these harem pants, and then it's got like Japanese writing on the back. It's yeah, cool. I mean Ingrid's cool. She's pretty cool. <laughs> well, Robert Ginty certainly thinks so. Uh, yeah. So he picks her up for wow. her birthday lunch, <laughs> and it turns out she stole a bag of diamonds. Well, this is all kind of planned because you yeah. see her kind of working. She's in cahoots with the this older guy who seems to like run the mine. Well, I didn't think they were in cahoots yet, but I would say it's very confusing. And yeah. I I watched this movie twice, and I still didn't quite get who was who and who was torturing who for who for why because, like I said, there's too many characters and all these like secondary characters look the same so i don't know who <laughs> well is one who. of them that doesn't look the same is my man gordon mitchell old granite face himself as the boss of the diamond mind oh that, that's the tall guy she's she's yeah. working with yeah okay. he was cool he's always wearing the red jumpsuit with the weightlifting belt yeah. yeah he's one of the guys that had like a bunch of bit rolls in the 50s oh. and then he went i'm going to italy and then he just starred in like a million sword and sandal films spaghetti westerns mm. giallos he was even in Felice. Fel Fellini's satiricon so like oh. he made his business as a European actor even though he was an American I think he started like Gold's Gym or something like that what well that explains yeah. the belt yeah, I don't know what <laughs> that's that why they um, <laughs> all have weightlifting belts because I know he like yeah because he was a muscle guy wow, now, let me I look here that. And I think he trained or like he was very respected by Arnold Schwarzenegger no shit cool. uh, that's crazy yep. wow yeah, I mean, yeah. he's pretty good in this movie. He's, I mean, he's got a really uh, interesting face, that's for sure. Yeah, everyone is, is dubbed in this movie, as is the style. Yeah, uh, horribly the style dubbed. at the time. Yeah, uh, and yeah. not yet. Yeah, well, I wish I had gotten a guy dubbed. for Robert Ginty that was like, hey, everybody, it's me, Robert yeah. Ginty. It's like, we gotta, you know, it sounds like juice he his performance a little bit. Yeah, he's kind of like dubbing himself, but it's like, you know, they're outdoors and you hear like echo from like... <laughs> <laughs> from the toilet where they filled it. <laughs> The ceramic shower. 
Um, yeah, so we're introduced to, to Robert Ginty, and uh, he kind of like picks up his sister, and they get into a very, very slow car chase. Yeah, uh, they're driving really slow, but all these guys in mustaches with guns yeah, uh, are, are chasing them. Chase them, and uh, they actually stop them and mm-hmm. they they catch up, a, catch let's up go to them. a boat get, yeah getting a bit of a fight here but yeah they're Time they're to go to a boat kind of captured and brought to the boat and where we meet this uh italian lady i forget her she's name she's really funny i don't know her name yeah either. but <laughs> she wants i don't know it's i don't uh, she wants in on the action she wants like a piece of the whatever she's working with like she has like a partner who's named like marcelino or something oh that's right and it's the older guy and they're basically like um we want half your diamonds, and in exchange, we won't kill you, I guess. Yeah. So we're they, partners They now. hold his sister hostage. They're like, we're partners now. We're going to keep your sister here on this boat, um, and then you're going to I do- hope you guys don't escape now, <laughs> yeah. and then they escape. And they just let Ginty go. Like, like, hey, walk around the boat. Have fun. Yeah. And he, uh, so he obviously, you know, gets his sister out of a jam. And, immediately. Yeah, like, immediately. Like he throws a guy off the boat like, and then rescues his sister. They weren't even watching. Within like 30 seconds. Yeah. And I hope the dock workers won't get into a fight where Robert Ginty brutally murders them all yes. incredibly violently. Yeah, so randomly. <laughs> I think there's one like, guy who's just like cutting a tree and he's yeah. like, what's going on? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Puts his chainsaw down and then Robert Ginty's like, ah, it's mine now. Yeah. I, I was it, a little disappointed because uh, in the one of the posters for this, Ginty is holding this chainsaw so that i thought that was going to be like the epic final battle no it's in like the first 15 minutes you should know better and they're just randos <laughs> yeah the, the, yeah but, and, but he brutally like chops them yeah, up it's, as it's, they're fighting yeah it's really funny because these dock workers they're trying to escape and then the dock workers just kind of run out from behind boxes with like big sticks <laughs> yeah that's what we got it's yeah. like whatever. one of the guys gets impaled by like a long spear that his sister throws. Yeah. What's funny about this is it seems like they don't really work for the bad guys. I Maybe mean, they were just like working. They're just They're like, what's going on? Yeah. Like, it's not like they were standing around kind of working. Guarding like, them. Yeah, yeah. But they just sort of run out from boxes. Like they're hiding, waiting to capture them for some reason. But yeah, it's really funny. It it's gets really violent here. Things. The sister's kind of kicking ass and... Yeah, he and you know we got our violence. We need our sex. So when they escape, there's a Joel Silver style naked lady on the boat that they jump on. Yeah, yeah. I mean topless. They pay the guy off. They're, they're like, like, hey, hey it's like a hundred bucks. Give us a ride, okay? And then the ladies just they just start driving away as she's on top of the boat, but you can't be safe. And you know I'm getting bored by this point, so I'm like, I hope they play another song. White here fire. it is, White Fire. <laughs> Once again, White Fire. Get used to this song. Um, so now we get, uh, uh, it's like an old miner is d- discovering... Discovering the white fire. The white what fire. What is the white fire? It's a giant radioactive diamond. Uh, yeah, it's it's a gigantic diamond of legend. Everybody seems <laughs> to know what the white fire diamond... What is diamond. the legend? The, uh, <laughs> that's what the Italian lady I says. will say... <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> These people say white fire like a hundred so times. Yeah, and everyone white fire, white fire, everyone white, says fire, it twice. white yeah. fire, white fire. Do you know about the white fire? White fire, white fire. Yes, I know about the white fire. White fire, the white fire. Do you think we can figure out what the breaking point of the person who picked this movie and his friend was? <laughs> I have some guesses. I'm probably the incest stuff. But yeah, I probably mean, not <laughs> till like they're in. They're into it now. They're like, this is fun. It's violent. There's fire fights yeah i like the guy going white fire white fire every time oh yeah, yeah. and then the uh so the old man uh the sister uh kind ingrid of, yeah she sees the the diamond with the with the old guy she's in cahoots with uh and then he kills the miner that finds it and she was like she's like why did you do that and he's like ah, what's what's one lousy life so they're going to steal it, and mm. I guess they think it's worth millions. I mean, it's huge. But it's like, Hey, hey, don't skip over us taking in some Turkish oil wrestling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was, I guess, just to set the scene. Set, so, set some tone. Yeah. And I checked, and that kind of oil wrestling was invented in Turkey. Really? Well, what's weird is that there's like 10 couples, couples, pairs <laughs> wrestling yes. all at once. They could be couples. We don't know. <laughs> yeah. Let's not judge. All at once. So like... You think maybe it looks extreme. They're like flipping them over their shoulder. They're like upside yeah. down as they're wrestling. And they're all oily. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> like. And, and they're just like people watching with stone faces as this is happening. <laughs> I would kind of hope that you know, wrestling like all oiled up, and then you're like rolling around in sand and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. gross. I hope there's like showers there. No, be, no, they love it. <laughs> 
But yeah, we just kind of pass by it like it's Orson Welles' touch of evil as yeah. we yeah. follow a car yeah. just arrive. But I wanted to, CD. you know, this is a director who knows what he's doing. A director who signs his name on the film. Oh, he's giving yeah. us that local texture. Just that pride. That pride before the fall. I hope Robert Ginty would get all oiled up at one point and start wrestling. Just like his mustache is all oiled. Oh, it's my weakness. It can grab onto it. Oh, and they're like, no, there's so little mustache. You can't grab it. It's so wispy. But everyone yeah. in Turkey has a mustache. Yeah, a lot of mustaches <laughs> in this movie. Very thick, thick mustaches. Uh, <laughs> so they decide that they're they're gonna steal this steal this steal thing. The time. So Ingrid brings it to Bo, and he's he he, he doesn't want to do it. He um, doesn't want to do it this whole movie, but she convinces him because she's like. We could get out. We could get out of the diamond smuggling business yes. forever. So it's kind of implied that they, she works at this mine and is regularly stealing diamonds. I'm not <laughs> sure. It's really not clear. And then like George Kennedy and his wife are kind of their surrogate parents that they seemingly still live with at what looks like a resort. Yeah. And what they do there is bathe in the nude. Oh my God. Yeah. The cut. This is the first time that you're like, uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sister is swimming naked. Uh, th- there is a great cut which April showed me today. So they have this establishing shot of like Istanbul, and they have all these like beautiful like domed buildings with like kind of little nipple things on top, <laughs> and then it cuts to the sister to her breasts. Or, it, or? It, no, they. I think they're like, "Where's your sister?" Cut to her. Uh, she's she's, uh, she's in the pool leaning back with her boobs shifting pointing her up. boobs pointing up and she's fully nude yeah. um and she's swimming and it's where do we go from here oh. the love theme of the movie uh, he <laughs> is like we just still have fear they keep cutting back to his face he's like leering yeah. at her mm-hmm. well no what he actually does so she gets out of the pool um and goes to shower herself off and he's like shaking the bushes above her mm-hmm. and she's like, Bo, what are you doing? She's uh, she's cool with this and she's just totally nude and then he, uh, he says, like pull- you're no. not anyone's kid sister anymore, are you? And he pulls a towel off her, which is, Assault. Yeah, she is. She is not cool with this. She's, well, she's uh, kind of she, laughing about it. Not now. She's like, stop staring at me like that. Yeah, but she's she, she's playful she's giggling about it. And yeah, laughing, and also like the, the music is is happy and romantic. Ugh. Can you imagine if it had like Where a scary? Do we go if from it had like a scary like Lynchian yeah. song, it would be completely different. Tone. Well, it should cut back to him because he's the most horrifying looks on his face. Like, yeah, ugh. and then he goes, "It's a pity you're my it's sister. Pity you're my sister." And it's so funny that like he leaves and she goes i'm not done yet time to go back naked in the back yeah in the pool. i think that she was maybe uh, weirded out and she's like i'm not going back in the house after that i need another swim and another shower that's my guess yeah ah, is your sister uh doing her naked swim like she does every night yeah. all right Ugh. yeah so then they go have dinner um I- as a family <laughs> as a family yeah. as you should yeah and so this italian lady from earlier uh attacks the villa with her goons in an um, earlier scene, they they the older uh, guy. Uh, we should know. We should have a name for this man. I the don't the know. guy, older guy who works at the mine. He approaches Italian lady and friend. Oh, Gord Mitchell. Yeah, and mm-hmm. it's like they have the white fire. Old granite so face. Like I guess we. I guess we need to uh, kill her then. So that's why her and her goons show up and murder Ingrid. Uh, sister, yeah. did you notice that when Ingrid gets killed, it's like the film's like I don't want people to get bored. Uh crank it up white fire, white fire. <laughs> it played for only like 15 seconds yeah. that's it. <laughs> gotta bring she, that theme song back she here. takes like a blow dart to the forehead which is really funny <laughs> yeah but then Italian lady goes you idiot I said don't kill her yeah. which is confusing because just a scene ago they said they were going to kill her well, I don't <sighs> think they were implying. I don't think they wanted to kill her, but she needed leverage against Robert Ginty to do her dirty yeah, work. Yeah, I the guess. Dime. So I they wanted to like re-kidnap the sister. The whole plan makes no sense to me. Anyway, so sister is dead, uh, and then poor Ginty. Ginty. He holds her, <sighs> and then he has a vision of them as kids. Uh, do we hear the love scene again? Uh, that yeah. We just heard two minutes ago. Slowly yes, we do. Running, running in the opening montage. He's like, <laughs> and then I love this cut to him on like a rocky like. Like a cliff. <laughs> throwing pebbles into the water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at a, be- a beach. He's basically. like, ah, oh, I could have boned her. Uh, yeah, so he's he's really he's, broken up about. He's this. sad. He goes to a bar. It just cuts to him at a bar, already kind of talking to this blonde woman. Oh, uh, he's wasted. He's hammered. He's gone through like a bottle of uh, whiskey, whiskey or, or something. Yeah, so you're like, who is this blonde person? Uh, anyway, so she's very interested in him. She. 
she loves him. He's not even paying attention to her. And then this, like, I did you know. notice that there's a instrumental version of one of the songs playing? In the background? <laughs> I didn't, but I mean, why am I not surprised? And then this, like, this Turkish guy hits on the woman, and then Ginchi just punches him, and then just goes back to his drinking, but punching him he like falls back into another guy and then in a huge he bar falls brawl, into a woman i think oh yeah a brawl just erupts it's like the, and then a wild brawl erupts yeah it's like roadhouse yeah, or something it it's really like was everyone is fighting and ginty is the one who started it and he's just sitting there <laughs> i used to fuck tougher sisters <laughs> than that in prison yeah and like it's it, I don't know when it's revealed but it's kind of obvious during the scene that she's a prostitute but she's like because that's why the guy's like hey baby how much or whatever but are you saying that Ginty you know can't women can't be interested in him without being prostitutes no what I'm is saying what is have you seen the man's face <laughs> she I think uh, is not like hey pay me for sex I think she just genuinely feels bad for him yeah. she loves him already well he kind of gets knocked out in the brawl by accident and she takes him home and he wakes up in bed but uh, and then as George... he's like, isn't he kind of like blurrily like looking at her and he kind of sees like his sister? Or I something? don't know if that happens at that point, but it does happen several times later in the movie. Um, so then George Kennedy is like, hey, I got, an idea. I got an idea. And they say to her, how would you like to make fifty thousand dollars? That's it. They're stealing probably All like a, you have to a do billion dollar is diamond. Get complete plastic surgery. This is where the film goes off the rails, and I will say, um, <laughs> oh, this is where the film goes off the rails. <laughs> it is not when he was like, eh, like staring at his like, sister, well, that, yeah. or the diamond that causes people to like burn up. Yeah, That's, yeah, this is why I like this movie because it's just so absurd, and there's just and there's more more weird stuff coming later that it's certainly not like average i guess yeah. and boring like it's not the greatest movie ever of course not but there's just so much weird turns it's a lot of odd choices like we're made. not yeah, even halfway like, through the movie and ingrid is already killed and they're talking about getting this random woman to get plastic surgery to look like her yeah george kennedy's like okay hear me out <laughs> <laughs> and she doesn't seem to know the plan uh, she's pretty clueless. She thinks she's going on like vacation or something for some reason. So I don't uh, think I don't think they fill her in. Well, she's like, oh yeah, I'll make fifty thousand dollars. Who do I have to lay? Yeah. So she's kind of still in prostitute mode, and yeah. they're like, we have something different in mind. Yeah. So they're they're <laughs> I don't know teaching her to be like Ingrid to be Wait, a diamond. I, I don't thief. want to skip over the sequence though. They have a dramatic conversation on the beach, oh, and Robert Ginty has the craziest <laughs> outfit. <laughs> Does which it? is a t-shirt over that a jean jacket with no <laughs> sleeves and then he's also wearing a pink neckerchief yeah. as well he's got an ask uh, ask ascot yeah. yeah i remember that yeah. and he's like giving her lessons like no she wouldn't talk like that you have to do it like this blah 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 i mean this is where he starts just the, they did a lovely artistic editing where they they fade into ingrid while he's looking at this lady's name which is olga yeah Olga, people. And then he starts like Olga. slapping her on the beach because she's complaining yeah. about how tough it is to impersonate his sister. And he's like, don't you talk to her like that. Well, she said something disparaging, I think, about Ingrid. and uh, Yeah, she's getting um, frustrated. So I can't believe she would even agree to this, but she's in love with him. And now if you're Olga, you'd have to know like, hey, you're in love with this man. You I assume you want to be with him. You know you're going to look just like his sister, right? She's I, totally fine with that. Again, I don't know if they've explained <laughs> they her the yet? plan. I, all I have to say is, all of my life, all of my life. Because <laughs> the song plays again. Yeah, where do we go from here? And there is a, there's a great love montage, which is the and only way. I think way. that the actor playing Olga is like making very funny faces. Yeah. Yes. There's a shot of her like uh, wearing a scuba gear. And she's just like, <laughs> she's pretending to be a penguin. Well, she's I doing guess. like the penguin walk. Yeah, he's, he's teaching her how to do all the things that Ingrid could do, like shoot a gun, drive a Jeep. But the Jeep driving, yeah, she's like, she's joking around. She's kind of mugging like Goldie Hawn or something like that. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what she's yeah, doing. She's, she's doing like Goldie Hawn shtick. She's like, Whoa! I don't think she knew what movie she was in because no. this is not appropriate for this movie. Yeah, they're like shooting. Guns. Yeah, it needs to be dead serious. <laughs> the film where the guy picks up a chainsaw and cuts up some dock workers. Yeah. Oh, and she, yeah, this love montage. And by the end, they're they're like making out. There, she's falling He's head over her heels up and spinning her around. She's um, falling head over Ginty for for Robert. Yeah. Uh, for, for Bo. And uh, 
now. What happens next? Did they bring her to the place? And then we get uh, Fred Williamson shows up. Wow. So I think I looked at it today. He doesn't show up until um, I think there's only 45 minutes left in the movie, which is not fair. Because <laughs> Very late. He comes in and just blows everybody out of the water charisma wise. Yeah. He's practically mugging to the camera and it works. Yeah. So I'm not sure what his relationship is with Olga. They're not clear, but what we find out later is he just got out of prison mm -hmm. and he works for uh, some guy that they, they mentioned his name. I think they say his name is, it's some Dutch name. Anyway, um, I, but they're like, he's working for that guy. And if he doesn't get Olga back because she is like that, a top prostitute that's like or his something, pimp, he's her pimp or whatever, mm -hmm. he'll get in trouble. So that's why he's like, I need to find Olga yeah. under any circumstances. He goes back to the bar where Ginty met her. He roughs everybody up. Um, uh, and then we get, okay, so I think this is where Olga finally learns the plan. They're, they're boating to some island. Uh, and then... Uh, the mascara. Ol yeah, which... <laughs> I can, yeah, that's the only way you can really describe it is like Themyscira, where Wonder Woman grew up. Uh, it's just like a plastic surgery island. This is my favorite part. <laughs> Run by women? Because it's so weird. It is, I don't know, Some it looks like a resort, but it's a bunch of women wearing togas. Yeah. And they are also plastic surgeons. Okay. Yeah. And she's like, where do you think people get plastic surgery, April? It's on the plastic surgery island. There's nowhere else to get yeah, it. Yeah. And then the main lady is like, the Greek gods give us all the medicines we need. What is happening? Uh, it's it was just so weird. That's it's my very favorite. It's my favorite thing. Olga is like, gee, where are you guys taking me? We're going on a vacation. And he's like, well, you're going away for three weeks. And she's like, what? Three just weeks. Me? She knows what's going on. I, does she? Yeah. I don't. Well, uh, George Kennedy explained it. He kind of does. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we get the plastic surgery island run by Amazonians. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> uh, the Italian lady is also trying to hunt down Ginty. Uh, she ends up sawing a guy in half with yeah, a bandsaw. Yeah, so that's the guy that worked with Ingrid, but it's not, I'm confused. It might also have been the guy that killed Ingrid because she says, Oh, maybe you, she says you killed her because you did, she would have recognized you. Right. So I think he works at the mine. Um, but we don't oh. really know what she wants from him. He's the guy that he's the guy that really looks like Mario. It keeps like cutting to him and he's looking like kind of sinister with a really big mustache. Yeah. Yeah. So we get a great scene with a bandsaw. Is that what a bandsaw is? That's a bandsaw. Yes, that is what a bandsaw is. Okay. I think. They are for, you know, sawing people in half. Yeah. And I mean. They kind of just go through his dick. Yeah. And like, <laughs> I haven't seen that before in a movie. And it's not like it's just implied. Like, no, they, they show do. It. They do. A, they show it. They do a prosthetic and I like it. He dies instantly. <laughs> Was it, was it the prosthetic? Yeah, as we all would if it happened to us. No, yeah. it would, it would uh, Just instant death. It's like our weak point in an anime. Like, like oh, oh, I've been hit. It's anyone that's crotch. Yeah, but it may not have been like a prosthetic, though. It could have been like, you know. No, they did it for real. That's how they do it down in Turkish filmmaking. Yeah, well, they set that prisoner on fire in the beginning of the movie, right? <laughs> Who is actually the director. I checked. It is. It's actually That's him. crazy. That is crazy. And then, you know, once we have that violence, we need the sex. So in the next scene, uh, George Kennedy has his shirt off. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, so Olga returns from Plastic Surgery Island uh, looking and like they've swapped out the actress. It's, it's his sister. And what I really hate about this scene, well, several things. She's going down the <laughs> stairs. The, oh, the yeah. Stair, and the very stairs. The blowing wind yeah. up her skirt. Yeah, and her so skirt comes directly up and you just see her underwear. But it's the same stairs that he like leered at her. Multiple from. times. Uh, he's leering. He's like, uh, George Kennedy's leering at her. He's like, my work here is done. You want a controversial statement. I like the actor pre-plastic surgery more than his, the original sister actor. Oh, I, see. I think they're both good. I kind of... I'm not. I feel like the Ingrid actress is good, um, but yeah, Olga's good too. They're, they're probably this. They're both they're better both than good. Robert Ginty. I'll put it that way. Oh, they both look so similar. It's like looking at the same person. Are they maybe the same actress? <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Well, they don't. Apparently, I'm thinking they don't dub her voice with. Like, yeah. like, sorry, they do. Sorry. Ingrid has kind of. Ingrid or, has Olga's voice. Because everything is dubbed anyway, they were able to do that, but Olga, it's hard to tell. Olga has like a British accent. Kind that of. She doesn't hide to kind of sound like uh, 
Ingrid? It's not really incest, even though I look like your uh, sister. Yeah, and they, so yeah, when she's he coming sees down her the stairs. And he's like, Where do yeah, we go? Yeah, the we loving. Go and so he there. sees her and he is having post traumatic stress disorder. He cannot separate um, this woman from his actual sister. And he walks up to her and is like, Ingrid? I love you oh, and makes out with her passionately. Uh, and so we are we are past the point of no return. We're, we're now. through the looking glass. Yeah, and uh, even George Kennedy looks uh, so <laughs> disgusted. He just walks away. He's like, Ugh. I thought he looked happy. I thought I he's like, know. I'm glad those kids finally got together. Uh, and uh, my thought is, um, how did anyone make this movie and think that <laughs> literally this- my kids? Well, <laughs> April, let me introduce you to perhaps the internet porn sector. That but they're not stepsisters. Marie- they're not stepsisters. Yeah. Stepsister, they love it. <laughs> but how, as Robert, you're Robert Ginty. He's like, just cool with it. What are you thinking? Is it like? I guess he's just like I'm playing it's a like, character. Uh, it's like Vertigo, oh, but oh, these wacky incest. Europeans. Well, I mean, look at Game of Thrones. You know, the land. He'll the probably Lannisters. go like no one. No one's gonna see this ever. <laughs> there will not be a special edition Blu-ray release. I mean, yeah, uh, 4K. It appears on like red letter media, seen by millions of people. The fact of the matter is there is some media out there that's not like weird pornos that has siblings who are in love relationships. I mean, Flowers in the Attic comes to mind. I think they made a mini series out of that. And then of course, Game of Thrones, but huh? it's not, uh, you know what Flowers in the Attic is. You've seen the covers on the shelf I'm sure, where yeah. it's like uh VC Andrews. It's like the, in the nineties would be the paperback. was like a cut out image on the cover right. and you would see usually like a girl's face. Okay. That was Flowers in the Attic. Right. Yeah. It. I started reading, Reading that book and then I stopped because I didn't like it. You were too horny. <laughs> no, it, was, it was it was it was it was weird. Um, oh, yeah. Robert Ginty's favorite book. Yeah, uh, Flowers in the Attic is insanely popular. It's true. Like, it, oh, there's yeah. so many spinoffs and like adaptations of yeah, it. And it's, people cannot get it's enough about, of it. It's about incest. I remember like uh, it was going around in like when I was in grade eight or grade seven or something. I think mm. all the girls were reading it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh. So yeah, anyway, um, and then uh, and then this movie. Uh, also, this is like a proto face-off too. I guess. <laughs> I guess. I think John Woo saw this. Well, they didn't dig up his sister's corpse to put her face on her. Uh, That'd be funny, no, but it doesn't happen. They're just magically able to make her it's look like exactly like It's like face-off if her. like Travolta and Cage wanted to fuck one another. Well, I mean, have you seen that movie? <laughs> they, they didn't? <laughs> yeah, that's true. It seemed like they did. Uh, they weren't uh, siblings. Dude. Though. We, no. Um, so yeah. We, yeah, we get like Fred Williams scene again, where he like attacks. He goes to a cat house. He goes to like a the mine. Oh first. yeah, well, that he like too. does a yeah. tractor fight. Yeah. A tractor fight, but he has like a lasso that he throws around. The <laughs> Pretty <laughs> cool. It's and so he Fred Williamson does such funny poses when he does martial yeah, arts. Like yeah. does like the claw. The claw. He's yeah. like <laughs> he's just tearing up the screen, and uh, like I said, it's sorely needed in this movie yeah, to for kind sure. of. And even though it's just kind of scene after scene of him interrogating people and looking for Olga. Um, he doesn't really get anywhere, but he, he somehow finds out that an American took her from the bar. So therefore, he he knows that it's um, Robert Bo. Kinty or something. Yeah, <laughs> Bo, the most Bo charismatic Donnelly. man we know. So Robert they Kinty. They decide to have a party. He had a mustache. Looks like a child. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know why they decide to have this party. Oh no, they no, just, we they we, do. we get the grossest scene uh, before this. Oh, uh, not the boat. Yeah, the boat where uh, Kinty's like, on the right. boat, like yeah. oh. takes her dress off and is just like leering at her boobs and feeling her boobs and they're out and then like, it cuts to children yeah. <laughs> them it as children. cuts to them as children it cuts, kissing it, like he envisioned it has an ugh. envision a vision of her as a whatever six-year-old and then him as a six-year-old like kisses her on the cheek and then back to him you know and then, then he then he kind of turns uh, 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 over it, and he george stops. kennedy's like watching this all go down too he's like sitting in the um captain's chair and he's like oh, that's gross. it's it's it, it, there i can't like i said, i cannot defend this and it's he, just he, bizarre he asks her at this point for the second time <laughs> are you sure you want to go through with this <laughs> It's like yeah, and then she's like, "Too late, I went, Yeah, I, I went through this whole thing, and he's like, "He's like, Ingrid, I'm here. serious." And she goes, "See, you can't tell the difference between us, so we're good to go." And meanwhile, he is has had a mental break. Yeah, <laughs> they go to a party. They infiltrate a party. They're host, where, they're hosting a party. Yeah, where like Fred Williamson is, where the Italian lady is, and I guess it's, they invited everyone. It's I guess to publicly show that uh, Ingrid is still alive. Yep. Uh, you know, the Italian lady's very confused. 
Uh, Fred Williamson kind of suspects that something is up. Like he, he's like, I'm sure I haven't met you or your sister. Well, but- Olga, who looks like Ingrid now, she's sees Fred Williamson and is just frightened. She's like, yeah. we need to leave now. She's really in fight or flight mode. And Bo's like, oh, it's fine. Let me introduce you. Yeah. <laughs> he goes right up to right up to them. Uh, and yeah, so Fred Williamson kind of suspects something's up. So the very next scene, he goes to like, you know, Themyscira, the the plastic surgery island, and is like roughing up the ladies there. And they confess. They're like, okay, like, you know, we turned her into his sister with plastic surgery. And he, it's like he hadn't even thought of this. He's like, what? What are you saying? It's like, why are you there? I don't know. Maybe, like, did he know it was Plastic Surgery Island? I thought he suspected. <laughs> I, like, otherwise, why would he go to this island? It's just very bizarre. It's not know. clear in the script. Let, let's just say the script has issues. <laughs> <laughs> so now we get to... Uh, this, this is the boring gunfight. This is the quarry fight. Uh, at the end of the movie? At the end of the movie. Everyone's yeah. trying to get the white fire... Uh, white fire white fire <laughs> um yeah so it, it, i mean it's fine it just kind of goes on for a long time it's and just a lot then of the white sh- fire explodes yeah does somebody shoot the white diamond no i thought it's fire? just like it, it's so radioactive that it was always gonna explode oh, okay that's just my interpretation uh <laughs> it is a very ugly diamond by the way when you get the close-ups of it it's like you, do know, you, have, you own any diamonds colin <laughs> no <laughs> april uh, I have a a, a diamond uh, ring I got for my sweet 16, and it's very, very small, but real diamond. Oh, okay. You know, diamonds are known for their clarity. Uh, <laughs> this thing just uh, looks Only like... poor people diamonds. Real diamonds are impenetrable, very opaque. Yeah, this thing is like, uh, it's just full of air bubbles. Uh, it just looks like a <laughs> And big... it's glowing. Yeah, it looks, well, it looks like... like one of those salt lamps. It just looks like a big pile of like epoxy that's just, just <laughs> full of bubbles and is like cloudy, you uh, you know, it's radioactive. You touch it. What are you going to do with this thing? I know. You can't even touch it. How are they even? What was the plan? How are I'm going to put it on a gigantic ring and <laughs> wear it around. And like it's just that like, one in Little Man? <laughs> it's just like, yes. But it's constantly like burning your hand. <gasps> <laughs> That's how you know you're alive. It's like you've yeah. got a skeleton hand and this beautiful <laughs> gigantic ring. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. They get gun, then gun. they kind of escape out like a hole in the cave. And Fred Williamson is like, all right, Olga, come with me. And then Ginty uh, is like, how about some diamonds? Yeah, he gives him, he bribes him with diamonds. Problem solved. And he's like, <laughs> okay, I'll just tell the, the boss that you escaped. Or, and are uh, they like, what did we achieve here? Yeah. <laughs> Other than falling in love, I guess. I guess. Uh, yeah. Like, the whole movie is, like, pointless as far as the whole, like, diamond heist goes. It's just, like... A, a, a misfortunate series of events where mm-hmm. people get killed and, uh, you know, we're left with, G- Ginty, we're left feeling gross. Robert Ginty gets his dream. He gets to run away and have sex with his sister. That's, yeah. that's all he And wanted. the final yeah. shot is them running away with a fade up of them as children running away. Yeah. And we get, where and I really do like how we go they run away. Me? And George Kennedy just goes in an opposite direction down the hill. Yeah, like, I don't. I, I, where I guess, are you going, yeah, old man? I, I, he wants to get away with from them, probably. Yeah. He's just like, ugh. Well, his wife died too, and his dog earlier. Oh yeah, movie. but they, he's like, oh, they're just going to be having sex all the time. This is creepy. I'm out of here. He yeah, just, he just takes um, off. And I think it just cuts to credits. Yeah, cut to credits. It cuts to a blue screen like Derek Jarman's blue, and then the credits roll. <laughs> yeah, I, rec- I was like, what is this? Uh, that was bizarre. Um, Colin, you didn't say what your favorite thing was. Oh, geez. Uh, probably the song, White Fire. I think oh, that's what I already took it. I think that's what oh, man. Said. Well, I'm going to say the, the fight by the dock at the beginning. Yeah, yeah with the chainsaw. That, that, was, that was awesome. That was definitely fun. Yeah, we I... needed, definitely needed more of that. I think the gunfight in the quarry at the end is just very it generic. It was a little generic, yeah, compared to all the other stuff that we had seen before which by the way is not fantastic but it's still at least like it holds your attention and it's interesting for to sure see. it's yeah. just like cutting back and forth between there's, there's no kind of spatial i don't know yeah awareness or apparently you, you have no in the idea imdb anything goofs else. they're like in the final gunfight you can see a guy holding what's clearly a wooden prop that's shaped to look like a gun <laughs> okay <laughs> one star okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that broke the whole reality of the film just when i was really into it yeah it ripped me out um, so yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an a interesting film. I don't even think the Italian lady gets it. She's just like shooting like in a, a 
divot, a crevasse, and then I think you never see her again. <laughs> Do you have some more synonyms, April? Right? Yeah. <laughs> I was I didn't know what a divot was really. I was, <laughs> a divot, a crevasse. <laughs> A hole in the uh, ground. A uh, hole, um, if you will. Yeah, and she's the main villain of the, the movie. Yeah. So uh, it yeah. kind of falls, let's just say it kind of falls apart a bit at the end. All the, the There's a lot of loose ends, you can say. Mm. But overall, you know what? I like this movie, surprisingly. Um, I We had to watch it twice due to scheduling issues. And I was not mad. Not mad about sitting through it one more time. Yeah. Although I didn't watch the last <laughs> the last scene. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's the most boring part. But yeah, it's got enough like weird decision making going on and just very odd choices and the whole incest angle is just i don't know but it makes hell. you go what yeah you know and not to the point where i'm like dis- like i am yeah. disgusted but it's not like it's gross not, it's not boring it's not boring yeah <laughs> that's for sure um no this movie uh i think in 2020 got a arrow video blu-ray mm-hmm. yep is that right i have was that it a, was it a 4k restoration no 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 it was like a okay. 2k yeah uh, yeah. And this video, uh, this video, this movie, uh, also available on Tubi. And you know what else is on of Tubi? Yeah, before you watch White Fire, what should you watch, April? A little indie movie called Impossible Horror from 2017. Yeah. We watched it the other night. We oh, did. did you? Wow. We watched our own yeah. movie. So this is a movie that Justin wrote and directed uh, from... 2017 (laughs) which is like five years ago um and i also helped out a lot on the movie and i have a small role in the movie and colin helped out as well too on it so it is a no such thing as a bad movie uh project yeah Mm -hmm. (laughs) i guess no such thing as a bad movie presents impossible horror yeah (laughs) exactly yeah um but yeah it's no uh, incest in it sorry guys if you made it this far it's less than 90 minutes long too Mm -hmm. so if you are at all interested uh please watch it on tubi and uh get 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 those views up um yeah it's got a great soundtrack by by emily exactly it's it sounds and looks fantastic and i'm very proud of it um so if you want to email the podcast, we're at no such thing as a bad movie at gmail.com and we're on Twitter at no such thing pod. And if you'd like to support us on Patreon, we're on patreon.com slash no such thing as a bad movie. And if you're uh, subscribed at the $5 level, uh, we release a bonus episode every two weeks. And uh, the last one was on Bo is Afraid. Great times to be had uh, on, that, <laughs> on that episode. Uh, and uh, also, as I mentioned earlier, if you're on the two dollar level, you can get uh, submitted to the lottery, uh, so you can pick movies. Possibly like this. pick a movie for us to cover on the main feed. So if you we release those episodes uh, every three months or so, so consider joining. It's a good time, and uh, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at April Atmansky. You can follow me on Twitter, DeClue J, D-E-C-L-O-U-X, the letter J, or listen to me on the Important Cinema Club every week, which is another podcast that I do. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm Sergeant Zima, S-G-T-Z-I-M-A. And that's it. Uh, thank you again to uh, William, William Maudsley, who recommended this movie. And uh, that's it. Uh, guys, White fire. Uh, White fire. Where do we go from here? I don't know. Where, <laughs> where, where do, do we go, go from, from here? here? I would buy this soundtrack on vinyl if I had a record player. It's yeah, two it, songs. It's like, well, that's a lot of ifs, April. <laughs> yeah. It would be awesome if they had like a full like you know LP and it would just like the same two songs repeated. Just over, over and over. Uh, I've been April Atmansky. I've been Justin Clue. <laughs> I am Colin Cunningham. I am Colin Cunningham. <laughs> and remember, there's no such thing as a bad movie.